Hello everyone, it is LB3 and I am back again with another draft profile video. In this video, we're going to be talking about one of my favorite draft prospects for the 2021 NFL Draft, and that is Maryland running back Jake Funk. Now we're not going to have too many clips for Funk because he has not played many games, and a lot of the strengths and weaknesses are tied to stuff that are either off the football field or not something that's easily represented with the clips that we have. With that said, let's not waste any time and let's get right into it with Funk's athleticism. Funk is a great athlete, and this is doubly impressive as he tore his ACL in both the 2018 and 2019 football season and was able to come back fully healthy after nearly two full years of rehabbing. I honestly wonder if it could have affected him during the season, as I would not have guessed he would have tested quite this well based off the tape. A solid 40, and something that doesn't shock me at all is the absolutely crazy 10-yard split, uh, which is the measurement of how fast they run the first 10 yards specifically. Uh, based off his tape, I don't think his top gear is the best, but at least he's able to get up to speed extremely quickly. He's able to reach his top speed very fast. His jumps and agility drills are also not surprising as an explosive player is able to move laterally with ease. With that said, we'll talk about his strengths and weaknesses. And the first strength I want to talk about is something I already mentioned very briefly in the athleticism, which is his lateral agility. Uh, he's able to move side to side extremely well, extremely quickly, extremely smoothly. Uh, and he is that also allows him to help maintain that quick and easy speed that I also mentioned in the athleticism. He gets up to speed quickly, and then he's able to move side to side without losing too much of that speed. Uh, what this allows him to do is when there is a hole, he can go through it, and then if it's blocked off, he can get to the side very quickly, get to a place where there is more space for him to run, and then take advantage of that. And that's something that is extremely helpful as a running back and something that I think he does extremely well. All right, after talking about loving him as a runner, we have to talk about probably his biggest concern, which is, of course, injury. You can ask all you want about how fair it is to knock a guy so much for things out of his control, like injuries, especially when some players are able to largely avoid the serious injuries they had in college in the pros. However, Funk has had two ACL tears and was never able to play a full season of college ball running back. That brings with it a lot of questions about how much his body can handle in terms of playing an NFL season. The risk of his injuries has to be baked into where you draft him, and it will likely take him off some team's boards or nearly off it. Um, but, you know, other teams will be willing to accept that risk as a late-round pick, so it just kind of depends on the team. You know, he had two major injuries and two back-to-back -back years, uh, played a decent amount of games in 2020, as many as he could with COVID, but then was still not able to play a full season because of COVID. So it's just a big question mark for him right now. Moving on, we can talk about another strength, which is a major reason why I think he's going to be drafted, which is his special teams ability. Uh, once again, there's no footage for this, just like the injuries. You're just going to see some clips of him running the ball, which are cool. Um, but I'm not going to go back to Maryland's 2015-2016 uh, tape to find him playing special teams. Uh, but anyways, he's a great special teamer. Early on in his career at Maryland, he was stuck behind future NFL players at running back, so he played a lot of special teams, and he was... Excellent. He got a ton of tackles, and he was an excellent coverage guy. Now, NFL teams rarely draft 6th and 7th round guys looking to get a starter. Uh, what they're looking for is guys that can assist in multiple ways, offensive linemen that can back up multiple spots, uh, and especially special teamers. And that's why I think that Jake Funk is going to end up getting drafted, even if it is not just as a running back. Uh, he is a guy who can definitely become a special teams ace and then grow as a player and eventually get a role with a team as a actual running back. The last weakness we're going to be talking about is his lack of experience. This of course ties back into the injuries, but it's something that really has to do with how you project him moving forward. Funk only had double digit carries in four college football games. Now I will note in those four games, he averaged 140 yards per game and that was against some solid defenses, but still, Four games is not very much to go on, especially when looking at the Maryland running back scheme and some of the guys that have come out of there and struggled once they got to the NFL. Uh, they just give them lanes. It's a very running back friendly offense. You could also make a case that this is a benefit. You could argue it as a strength. Uh, as a player who hasn't had very many carries in college, doesn't have much wear on their tires, maybe they can, you know, have a little more energy as they go through the pros. But I think that that argument doesn't really hold water when Funk has had two ACL tears. Uh, so that's still a concern. Injuries are still a major concern, even though he hasn't had a ton of carries in college. So that is probably the reason. Uh, you know, that and the injuries are reason enough alone that he can't go high in the draft. 
Alrighty, that's everything that we have on Jake Funk in terms of strengths and weaknesses. Uh, overall, I think he's a good player, and I'd love to talk more about his pass blocking and route running, but honestly, the sample size is so small that it's tough to take an overly positive or overly negative view on those two things. Uh, making a comp for Funk, there's someone who instantly stood out, and another ex elusive white running back in Rex Burkhead. Both guys don't have great breakaway speed, but are hard-nosed runners who seem to glide side to side with relative ease and made their money on special teams early in their career. Alrighty, with the comp out of the way, let's talk about where I think that Jake Funk should go in the draft. Now, as I've mentioned previously in the strengths and weaknesses, because of those two major weaknesses, I don't think he's going to go any earlier than day three. Um, realistically, I don't think round five would be a reach, but I think that sixth is probably the most realistic spot to grab him. Uh, you know, teams love grabbing special teamers there. And honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if within the first couple years of his NFL career, he grabs a spot in a timeshare or even as a lead back, as we've seen some late round undrafted free agent running backs do every single year.